What's up, YouTube? JD here. Now, um, I wasn't able to record this entry uh, this uh, this morning because I didn't bring my cell phone. Actually. Didn't bring any uh, any of my gadgets to the mall. So, uh, I was uh, I was feeling a little bit negative, so it's going to reflect on my entry. All right, but I managed to. Think of uh, think of something that I would put it that will that I would put in the diaries. Okay? There's this um, what you call this? Okay. There's this there's this something something I notice from Grant Cardone every time he organizes his 10x growth fund. He would. At the at the first probably the probably six months to a year before six months to a year before the actual event before the actual date of the event it would sell tickets at a really high price then as time goes on he lowers the prices okay now I don't have any I don't have any opportunity to attend the 10x growth con okay for me I don't need it but to uh, the people who bought into it all right the people who bought into it uh, when every time it's every time it's announced they would buy it at a high price now Grant Cardone would slowly bring that price down would bring that price down until the until the uh, until probably a week before the before the event starts okay I've seen I've seen a lot of complaints on YouTube because of that all right for me um, it's a bad move right it's a bad move you don't create uh, you don't create urgency or the or much less a or much less the demand that way okay i would if i were uh if i were if i would if i would do if i would organize any event actually that sells that puts then uh, that i need to and i need to sell tickets i would sell it at probably in modest price a competitive price then as the uh, then as the event then as the the date of the event draws nearer and there are probably few seats left I would raise the price I would raise the price because well number one I would give value to uh, the previous ticket buyers you mga you mga na ticket uh, right right off the gate right off uh, the announcement I would give them value by uh, making them making them as comfortable as possible during the event right if well if there are spaces if there are spaces in in the seating they got elbow room right they got elbow room to, uh, to write down notes to well to be as comfortable there's a chance to be comfortable in, during the event now if people want to join in on the event uh days before days before that well i might i might raise the price I might raise the price of the ticket now there's another option I, and i think and i think cardone did this there are ticket tiers okay so the closer the closer you want to be to the speakers the more expensive the ticket uh, that's a good strategy but as as the date of the event draws nearer he lowered the price on all of them he lowered the price on not i think not all of them but uh the highest tier the highest tiered and probably the middle tiered ones i said ah, yeah. <laughs> Why would you lower the price? Okay, isa lang ang isa lang ang uh, what you call this? 
You will draw to the realization that no one's buying the ticket. No one is buying the ticket because he's lowering because because the, the ticket price is getting lower by as as time as time draws near. All right. Wala mo yung bilang ticket. Yan ako as a as a ticket buyer to some events. Okay. Yun ang magiging yun ang magiging uh, what you call this conclusion ko. No one no one no one must attend the event. So Papay ba ba yung ticket? Diba? Papay ba ba ba? You have to raise the price even more to create urgency. Okay? To create urgency kasi malapit ni. One week or a few days before the before the actual event, you have to create that urgency by raising the price. But you have to announce that beforehand. Like, um, the best example is Cosplay Mania. Okay? If you if they announce that uh, tickets to cosplay mania would um, would be would be out on sale, it will be at a lower price. Early bird tickets, kumbaga. Early bird rates, so it's it's cheaper. So as time goes by, probably two weeks before the actual event starts, they would raise. Uh, it would be at a really high price. That would be the, uh, what you call this, the on-site ticket price. So if you didn't really, if you really didn't have any time to to buy tickets from from any SM Cinema, from any from any SM Cinema branch or any any, any SM mall for that matter, if you didn't have the time to to buy those tickets when they were when they were way cheaper, well, passing <laughs> chan tayo. You have to go to the event. Uh, what you call this? Break those long lines for that ticket. At mas mahal pa. Alright? But, in all fairness to Cosplay Mania, they created the urgency. Kaya, every time you would attend Cosplay Mania, ang haba ng pila. Because they created that urgency. Okay? That's the right ticket pricing strategy. Right? No one in their right minds would sus would suspect that uh, no one's buying the tickets because because urgency is being created, the demand is being created. Because, of I'm uh, oh, I'm a regular tick. Uh, I also attend seminars. I also attend uh, events, corporate events. Of course, you need. You really need to buy those tickets at early bird prices. And mas marami siyang benefits pag usually kapag early early bird ticket holder ka. In any corporate event here, any corporate anime or a, even a seminar, right? If you availed of the early bird rates, you're in early plus you are prioritized. As the organizer, yeah, you get to prioritize. Act, well, early bird ticket holders are more valuable to event organizers than the on-sites. Alright? This is my, this is, this is my additional observation when it comes to ticket pricing. Must, must my value ang mga bumibili ng maaga, bumibili ng tickets ng maaga or nagre-register ng maaga sa mga sa mga seminars. Okay. They're given more value. They are uh, they're treated like kings to the at the event itself. They're treated like kings. <clears throat> Priority seating, free coffee, <laughs> free uh, free snacks, free meals even. Whereas yung mga nag on site wala. <laughs> Sorry na lang kayo. Late kang, nag, late kang bumili ng ticket eh. So this, is, so this is the value you're going to get. And it's justified. Well, it's justified. It's justified. Kasi late kang bumili ng ticket eh. Well, this is, the, this is the kind of treatment you'll get at the event. Now, I don't know why, I don't know why Grand Cardone does it that way. Alright? I don't know when it's uh, in a sick mind, in a sick entrepreneurial mind, 
why he does it that way lowers the prices for me okay for me lowering the prices as the as the date of the event draws near lowers the value of the event itself all right it lowers the value of the event you're organizing you have to uphold a certain standard to the event you're trying to to the event you're trying to pull off what you're trying to give to the people so yeah that is a very long observation because well i've seen it i've seen uh sales gurus do the usual thing you know they offer early bird rates then while as uh as the as the date of the seminar draws near they raise the price they raise the price which is a which is a time-tested strategy okay um who does that dan lock does that i think dan lock does that uh brian tracy and oh during this meeting tom hawkins right he offered early bird rates to his um to his sales training his one and only sales training here in the philippines which was which was in which was in the mid 90s that was his one and only sales training here he offered early bird rates then probably two or one week before the actual training the actual date of the seminar he raised the price he raised the price to well to create uh to create demand and to uh trigger urgency which is a, which is a good which is well it's a good and time-tested strategy actually so <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what Grant Cardone is thinking when it comes to ten. When it comes to ten x growth con, ticket prices wise, actually, I don't know why. <laughs> I am still freaking dumb, dumbfounded. All right, I'm still freaking dumbfounded. Please enlighten me to all those who attended ten x growth con. Please enlighten me how he on why he does that. All right, catch you later. <laughs>